So before you start this course here, I just want to mention that there is some older videos on this course that you might run into at the beginning of the course here. So just be aware that some of the videos, even though they might seem like they're two years old, are still very much relevant today if I decided to keep them in this course here. With that said, let's actually talk about why exactly you should be learning how to do object-oriented PHP programming. Because up until now, you've probably been learning PHP or what we call procedural PHP, which is the PHP that we usually start out learning when we go to school, when you sit down at home by yourself and you want to learn how to program PHP. And then later on, you might decide to move into object-oriented PHP. And you might ask yourself, well, what exactly is object-oriented PHP or why should you even jump into it? As you can see behind me, it does actually look a little bit more, it looks different from what you're usually used to when it comes to regular or procedural PHP. So, you know, why would you even go from the one that you're used to if it works and you can do what you want to do with it? Why would you take that step into object oriented PHP? When it comes to PHP, whether it being procedural or object oriented, they're both some of the easiest languages to get into when it comes to learning programming and taking that step from procedural PHP where you already learned half of what you need to learn and then stepping into object oriented PHP is quite a bit easier than if you had to take any other kind of programming language that only has object oriented programming as part of its framework. This means that PHP is actually a lot easier to go into object oriented with than any other programming language that might be out there. And that's why I recommend that if you want to learn object oriented programming, you start with PHP because it's an easier transition when you get into the object oriented world. With that said, maybe you're not really interested in learning object oriented programming languages. Maybe you're just sort of curious to why you should learn PHP and then jump into object oriented PHP. Is there any sort of benefits to it? Is there something else you can do using object oriented PHP? Is it more powerful? What exactly is going on here? And the core idea behind why you should learn object oriented PHP, I know I keep saying that a lot, but I, <laughs> I have to get the point out there, is that if you were to ever have a job in the future, because object oriented PHP is so much easier to work on in a project, with other people because you can divide the task into different groups, it is just a lot easier to do object oriented PHP. Because of this, if you were to go out in the real world and actually want to get a job as part of a company, they do mostly require that you know object oriented PHP because in a company, you usually work together with other people on projects. And I might be saying, well, procedural PHP can also be worked as part of a project. Why, why, why do we have to do object oriented PHP? Well, that's because if you were to do procedural PHP, you program the code in the documents, in the places where you need to do the specific functions that you want to do using PHP. And because of this, if you were to build, let's say a lock-in system, you can't have three developers sitting on the same document developing in the same file at the same time. Whereas in object-oriented programming, you have separate files that does different tasks depending on which file you're holding. So you can divide those files out to the different people in the group in order to get a lot more done in a lot more shorter time. And that's why businesses want you to learn object oriented and not procedural because time is money. And if you can have multiple people working on the same project to get it done faster, then of course businesses is gonna to want to have people who knows object oriented. Plus, just to mention this, if you were to give 10 developers the same project, they will all give you a different solution Whereas when it comes to object oriented programming, you can more or less have people develop together in harmony in a better way than if you were to do procedurally. Because if you do it procedurally, one developer is going to have his or her way of doing things, meaning that only that developer can make changes to the code if changes need to be made. But to give you the biggest reason of them all, why should you get into object oriented programming? Because all those reasons are good reasons but why should you get into object oriented programming? The fact is, if you do object oriented PHP, you get to reuse a lot of the code that you write inside websites. What this means is that if you were to create a website that has PHP incorporated into it as one of the main programming languages, for example, you have to build a login system, a user system, something like that, it doesn't have to be a lot of features you need to use PHP for. Already then, is it better to use object oriented PHP programming? And that's just simply because you get to reuse your code and it compiles a lot faster because there's less code to compile. 
And because object oriented programming is so systematic and organized, it's just a lot easier to build larger applications. And really the only place I do recommend you use procedural PHP programming is if you were to have a website that just needs to have one or two very small features when it comes to PHP. Anytime you move into something a little bit larger, like, like I said, a login system, you're already at a point where object oriented is just much better. So with all that said, what exactly do you need to know before you can jump into object oriented PHP programming? Well, first of all, you need to know the basics of PHP. And when I say PHP, I mean procedural PHP. Second of all, you need to... That's pretty much it. You don't need to learn anything else. If you know basics of PHP, you can jump into this course here. And with that said, I do want to mention that you can actually get started on learning object oriented PHP programming without any knowledge in PHP, but just not in my course here, because I do make this course with the expectation that you know the basics of basic procedural PHP. So I'm not gonna be teaching stuff like how to create variables and such, because that is knowledge you should already know going into this course here. So if you don't know PHP already, I do have a course on my channel that teaches the basics of PHP or actually teaches procedural PHP with a lot of different lessons in it so you can get quite far learning the basics of PHP and then I recommend you return to this course here if you haven't done that yet. In that procedural PHP course that I have, we also learn how to connect to databases and how to insert and get data from databases. So there's quite a lot of things that you learn from that course that I'm not gonna be teaching specifically in this course here because it's basic PHP and you should already, before you get into the course here, know the basics of PHP. And don't get frightened when I keep saying you need to know the basics because I really do mean the bare minimum when it comes to PHP. You don't need to learn anything really advanced when it comes to your procedural PHP. Just, just know the basics of how it work, you know, how to create basic stuff on a website, like how to output stuff using PHP, maybe how to fetch a little bit from the database using PHP, you're fine if you know that part. And with that said, I just want to say that this course is gonna start very beginner friendly because I know object oriented can be a difficult concept to get into if you've never done anything object oriented before. This means that I'll start things slowly and explain things in a very simple way for the beginners to understand it. And then as the lessons go on, we will move towards more advanced lessons. So, you know, just to get everyone caught up the people who's never done it before, as well as the people who has done a little bit of it before, we will eventually get caught up in a place that it's slowly gonna get from beginner friendly to more advanced. And with this said, I don't think there's much else to say. This is sort of an introduction to this course. Do remember, some of the lessons in the beginning are a little bit old, but still relevant if they're still there. So if I haven't taken them away, just watch them, cringe a little bit over how young I used to be two years ago. It's not really that long time ago. But you can cringe a little bit about the style or something like that if you feel like it. So I hope you enjoyed this little introductory video and I look forward to see you in this course here.